come to the screen. So, uh, uh, if anybody has been paying any sort of attention to uh, the Discord, um, Christian has rightfully uh, pointed out that the NACA duct that we have is wrong. And because it's wrong, we need to change it. Um. And together with the Naka duct, uh, he pointed also out uh, that um, the this line here is one stud too low, so we need to raise this by one stud, uh, and of course everything here is going to change slightly, uh, but that's good. I mean, we have uh, a good um, opportunity here to make this right. So I have changed this part on the door already um, let me see if I can do something here Maybe we can have a sl slightly better view here of what I'm doing. So obviously now that this has changed, this has to go up. And the handle here is going to change as well. Uh, so the handle here, even though I changed it already, need to change it again. I need to, yeah, need to go up. Needs to go up. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So handle needs to go uh, up, but it needs to go into the duct as well. So in order to facilitate this, we need to. I don't know what we're gonna do here. Cannot be too long. If this is too long, it's not gonna clear whatever gonna we're gonna have here. If it's too short, mm. we cannot change this guy here. This has to be here. Otherwise, there's you know we have too much stuff supported on, uh, on it. Um, but here. Um, there should be a, you know, I don't have it here, but apparently there's a piece here that's like the same as this, just inverted, and that's that forms a per the perfect edge of our knockout. Since I don't have it, I'm I'm gonna use this here for now because that's every oh, the only thing I have. Um. And we're gonna change it at a later date when I buy um, the appropriate uh, bricks. Mm, let me just 
make some structure here. plates and I have just big ones. Okay, so this guy's gonna be here for now. Something like this. So you have to imagine this part in red, of course. I don't have it in red, I have I have it in black only. So you know. And now that we have this here, we need to figure out uh, how to make the handle in a way that we can actually uh, actuate it here from, from within here. And then Obviously, I mean this gap here is gonna appear larger once the uh, once we have this uh, um, corresponding part in in um, here up because the gap here is gonna be larger. But you know, since I don't have that, this is gonna be a stand-in for now. Uh, the major change is gonna come here, of course. Here we're gonna make this larger. This is gonna be one step further up. Um, you know gonna be different um, and this is gonna go like like this here yeah up until I think I think up until here so this this is all gonna be the, the ducting so this is gonna be empty um, yeah anyway um, the handle so the handle needs to poke out here and if we look closely we don't have a lot of room because the handle here now it's gonna when you poke it up it's basically hitting the it's hitting the um, lift arm already so that's a bit awkward Let's take the door off, since now we can play with this. We have the opening and see what we can do. Hmm. Okay. So, what can we do? We can place something here. So, in the vent here, we could do the following. We could go like this inward and then make a handle that, that would stick out here. Uh, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go as detailed as you know necessary or um, as we can. You know, there, there's just so much that we can do here. Um, okay, so we can have something poke out here. Hmm. An axle would be best. For example, if we used 
We use something like this, perhaps. You know, if we placed it like here in this manner, you know, and this this would kinda ish be okay here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it and see what's gonna happen. Why is this the metering of, on the camera? Why is this so dark? Why is this so dark? The room here is so bright. And this is so dark. What the fuck camera? Yeah, thank you. I mean please recognize that it's it's very bright here. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 this is bend bending so much. Holy shit. Uh, just a second. I think the cat is uh, acting. Yeah, so the feeling when you when you op try to open this is not very good because this is bending as fuck. So how would be best to do this? Hmm, it can be once the half a start further inside here. Hmm. Here we use a number three connector. What if we used a number four connector? So everything here would be further up or even num number five. Even number five. If we use number five. No, number four. Yeah, number four would make things maybe a little bit easier. Let's, uh, let's try. It's not gonna be the number one. A number four is not gonna be the connector that we're gonna use. No sir. Before I take this apart again. If we used a, um, if we use we used this part here instead of the number three or whatever connector, then we have the problem on how to connect this here with a connect connector that we would have here. 
that's the phone. So we have to, number three, this. I mean, there's nothing else that we can use here. Number three connector is what we have to use. And then we have to see what to do with it. Because there's just no space for anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This would come. Cannot answer right now. I, I forgot to, to, to put the phone inside. Right. So, how do we squeeze something in here that can actually open? This is okay. I mean, for now, it's good enough. Okay. And actually, because we have we have the me mechanism like here, and the slot is here, see, it actually locates this, I guess, a little bit better. Whatever. Come on, bend down a little bit more. Stupid arm. I mean, this is literally the best I can do to show you what I'm doing. Um, okay. Okay. Now what? Um, now we need to make this one step higher. Okay, so let's open this. And uh, let's disassemble what we assembled last time. Um, to remember how it went together. Um, I think if I do this. Yeah. I have no idea how, how I put this together last time, to be honest. I think, I mean, I think I do. I, I slid this in. Yeah, okay. Alright, so this was here. This was here. Now it needs to be one step further up. One step further up. Let me 
be difficult with what we have. Obviously, this is all gonna change. Um, yeah, because now with this arrangement, if it goes up, now this here, so the lift arm here is gonna be in the way. And I don't really want to change this lift arm here because it's so nice and neat. And this guy here, ideally it would be in the middle, but if I used um, what I would like to use here, it would kind of destroy the nice shape. Um, that's um, that's my consideration. I would like to use a connector here. Structurally, it would be the best choice, but not really. Visually, it's gonna be a disaster. Um, so, if we want to put this one step higher. What if, uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, what if, if we go like this, uh, yeah. like this, hmm. Yeah, the problem here is, of course, that this guy here, so this upright here, is gonna interfere with this here. This here. Um, because whatever we do, there's gonna be some bricks here that are gonna um, form the knock duct. Uh, and... Um, It's not gonna look pretty. What else could we use here? What else could we use here? Not much really. Not much. Because we have to have the pins here, um, because of the um, flex axis here. So they are pinned in here, obviously, here. And we cannot have axles or anything else here. So annoying. Do need to fix this in place. Has to be here. And here it's gonna interfere with the side because the side comes up to here. And if it's here, it it's further out. And this isn't good either because it's further out. So which means that this here needs to be as we had it before half a stud which is unfortunate but that's what it's gonna be for now until I figure out what to do
So now that we are higher up, this makes more sense ish. So before we were like Here, and then we are here. Like okay. Let's see. Kind of works. Mm -hmm. This kind of works. You know the gap here. Now I am um, confused. I mean, confused. Do we move this part here one step forward, or do we extend the door? That's uh, that's the question here. I do think that we move this part forward. Because the door is where it is, we move this part, this part forward. Yeah. And if we move this part forward, I have a problem here. We have a problem here. We lose this pin here. But no. no, 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 we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna do it like this, okay. Okay. I mean, these are now some super important decisions that we need to make. Um, and there, you know, some of them are boring. I'm sorry. Okay, we're gonna do, use this here. Now, now we can mount it. Uh, I'm gonna show you in a bit. Just let me relocate this, all of this, one step forward. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, as I said before, I love this uh, these connectors, but sometimes they're just a pain when they're they're not going in the hole. That's what she said.
Okay. Ba. Of course. I mean, obviously. Obviously, that would happen. Because why? Not too bad. Okay. We need to shape this now. Or we can shape this. Whichever we prefer. The thing is that nothing here is straight at the moment. This here, so. so this line here needs to, you know, this needs to follow. This needs to follow this here. Needs to be a little bit tilted downwards, but this line here needs to follow this. No problem. We are gonna improvise something here. And here, you know, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, we're going to improvise something here. Don't know what, but it all depends. It all depends on the piece here. So, so this basically. Um, and it's time basically to address this. Okay. So, obviously, we need to trim this a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. Obviously. It, it, it wants to come apart in its entirety. It wants to disintegrate this strong with this one. Yeah, okay. So obviously, we need only one of these here because this is going to be different. Okay. Okay. Mm, I guess this guy here can be extended. And of course I need, yeah, of course I don't have one more here on the desk and I need to dig it up. Just a second. I'm still here by the way. Yeah, let's see what 
what we can use. And by chance, I found one of these. So we can change it here and here for a good matter. And pretend that these are red as well. Okay, so these cannot. Right, so we need to lose this as well. Yeah, so, or not, wait. So the duct comes down there. Yeah. I mean, now we would use, we would need a con concave piece. I don't even know if these exist. I mean, apparently they do, but again, I don't have them. No. I don't think I do. So, in the in an ideal world, we would have the duct like with this and. You know, this is a piece like this, and ideally it, it would now revert, so it would go down as a conca it be concave. I don't have it, so I'm going to use this one. First, we need to change this here. Really? Wow, okay. Yeah, I guess I mean, for now I can leave it like this. Okay. So, this guy here should be concave. I don't know if a piece like this exists. But you know, um, and now we have to do the upper part, uh, and sh I think we should be okay. We'll see how this goes. So the upper part is probably gonna be like we had before. Uh, this thing here. Or something like that because it has to be it doesn't look I mean the duct itself it's not gonna look right then but what can you do I mean we have structure in the way yeah it 
doesn't look right. So. I don't know, Christian. I, I'm talking out of my ass. I, I assume this needs to be a concave part. Or this needs to look concave. So. Um, I'm doing the best I can with not being able to uh, Google stuff while I'm streaming. But it, I mean, the way I, I'm looking at your picture, it it should look concave. But I I have no idea how to do the top part here. Maybe if we if we angle this more or something. I mean, once this is different, it's gonna be look a lot better, and then we just leave it like this. I guess. Mm. Oh, come on. Yeah, this, this needs to go definitely. Yeah, it could. Yeah, maybe it could be a slope. Yeah. Yeah. Could be a slope. Yeah. One is two. No, oh, let's try it. Let's try it. I mean, ideally, I maybe did a part like this exists where it has a slope here and a slope there, or it's just a 1x2 um, rooftop piece. I think one exists. I think I have it. Just a second.
curved piece with uh, I don't know. I know that a roof a roof piece like that exists um, that it's 2x1 um, 1x2 studs um, but I know I have it I know I have it should be in here somewhere I think I have this in white. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, damn it. You know, I'm basically looking for 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 this here, but one X uh, to place here, so we can we can place this in here. Like that, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't fit. Let me see if I have a piece like that in the spare parts of the Porsche. Just a second. This is the box with the spares of the 911. Do we have any slopes like that? At least not a spare part, but they are built into the Porsche. But obviously, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take it apart. here but for the life of me I cannot find it I mean it, it, the part is in there it's in there but obviously it's gonna elude me uh, for the duration of the stream and then it's gonna magically appear somewhere
I know I have the part, it is in here, and that's exactly why I sorted all of my technic parts because, because of, of this horrible method. You can't find anything in here. for this it makes absolutely no sense okay Yes, we could do it like this. Mm. This is too deep, I guess. To be shallower. So we we're not going no. We're not going as deep as here, we need to be a lot shallower. No. So we're going maximum, a maximum of two studs lower than this. And we're already there. Yeah, they would, but Kada isn't Kobe, sadly. Imagine that these are uh, we we're, we're building a uh, technique with with no stats. So imagine these are not stats. I know it's hard uh, because 
right now we have a mix of black and red uh, all of this is open and um, it doesn't look uh, like uh, the real thing Not at all, but it's, it's gone. It's gone, and I don't know how to do the the top part. Even the the bottom part is eluding me, but the top part, with the top part, we have very little option how to do it um, because we we have the um, the bodywork to contend with. That's the problem. Oh my god, I mean, there's utter chaos today. Just a second. Cat is bored, bored uh, out of his mind. Mm. Yeah. So with the bodywork here, we need to be creative because uh, I think uh, these two studs here uh, should be um, lift arms. But can't because of the slope here. So we probably will use a smaller slope here. So we can use these two as lift arms as well. So that the transition between the straight part and the part that's curving back is not going to be so extreme. Uh, that's uh, important here. So obviously I know there's a shorter one in existence. Uh, do you have it? I don't know. Maybe in white. So the long one is here. Spare parts. Maybe. Maybe. But no. What about on this year? There is a, I think there is a six stud long um, piece on the on the 911, but it's built in the in the car, so I cannot take it out. I mean, I, I will not take it out. Not that I can. I will not. something like this here I guess or just ignore it for now and pretend that we are we are going to pretend we're going to to put two L lift arms here and you know go on with it uh, it's basically what we what we have to do um, I don't know. I don't have many ideas here. 
and we what we need to do here is of course now that we are designing stuff here um, we need to do a better job with this here obviously um, the the line here is okay these actually connect This is next level. Oh. When you when you want this to go apart, it doesn't. Okay. So if we take a look here, did I just put a finger print on it? No. If I take, if we take a look here, I am obviously not happy with this slope because it needs to go down. This needs to be slightly concave and then go up again you know to to follow you know to follow the line here so i don't know what we're gonna do here maybe it, it will be best to, to just have it straight straight all the way to the front and then it, it curves up again but i mean i don't know Maybe we put a crazy piece here that actually goes just down. And there's then there's just a, a, a straight a jagged, jagged edge here, and then it's straight, and then you know we have the the front fender. I think this is a bit too extreme. I don't know. Maybe not. But it is a complex shape, so, you know, what we are doing here is um required hmm. we need to do something with this because we need to be we need to be able to open the door from here so if we put in this here we're not able because we hit we're hitting this for some I mean for some reason I know why but if we have this in here we are hitting this I don't know how to make this smaller. Nothing, nothing is gonna fit in here. I don't know. I mean, this is definitely a case since it's purely decorative. It's definitely a case for um, CAD. Definitely, because I cannot judge any of these lines um, in real time, or like like this exactly. It needs to be designed in CAD. You know, nothing of this is structural. This can be, you know. Purely visually 
a design in, in floating in the air and we'll think of uh, how to how to um, make it sturdy enough later I guess and one more thing that we need to keep in mind here so see the door here this part here um, we do need a door frame like this that's also present in real life and then the iconic will it hold? wow it holds okay and then the iconic um, you know middle middle line of the um, window border that's gonna be like this is gonna be like this and then the window is gonna be like that ish you know. yeah. so the, the the frame of the door is gonna be interesting to, to do as well You know, this is the. I hate doing stuff like this the most. This is, this is why most of my cars never got finished. I got the uh, chassis and the mechanicals right, and then I was like, yeah, okay, that's, I'm satisfied, and then I never finished the the looks. Yeah, perfect opportunity for me to have a go in CAD. Yeah. If only I had, if only I had patience with this. I really hate stud I O. Really hate it. So hard to visualize uh, when you have black and uh, red parts together, and this kind of has to be black. something for shits and giggles come on to make it a little easier to visualize it.
now that I mean needs to be better, but this is just this is just temporary. Um, so it 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 looks blacker on 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 screen. Uh, ben, on on a car in this scale, no. Oh my God, Tristan. Yeah, I mean something's gonna something's gonna happen. To him. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to do it. No. I think I'm gonna have to ask Christian for for uh, his model. And um, yeah, model this by myself and see what actually is happening here. Otherwise, you know, this is not gonna end well. But, you know, with a model at this scale, we do need to model this. No matter what. It cannot be a sticker. Um, no way. No way I'm gonna make this a sticker. Yeah, exactly. No stickers. No stickers. Yeah, I mean, what I do need to do is the hard points that that we do need to observe need to be first determined in CAD, and then we're gonna see what we can do here. Um, yeah, I will, but no, it has to be modeled, obviously, and I'm pretty sure that it can be modeled. I'm pretty sure. Um, pretty sure that it can be modeled and it's gonna look great. I mean, you know, it's it's yeah, <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we we are definitely going with this because this is gonna make everything look perfect. But the it's the duct that's gonna break, make or break uh, the side profile. Uh, and here we do need to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do this in cat place everything in mid air and see. Um, and see what we what we are dealing with. Because obviously, one uh, I don't have the all of the parts, and in cat I do. And then I can be confident, yeah, this will fit, we can do this like that, and it's gonna be fine. Um, no. 
but I mean, there's still other parts of the car that I need to figure out, but. Part of me wants to connect um, a lift arm between these two points. You know, like this. Prevent, to prevent them from dislodging. I I am not a, a huge fan of the Testarossa, to be honest. Never was. Yeah, it, it's an iconic car, but doesn't really do it for me. Hmm. Kuntash was always my favorite. That's why we, that, that's why we are doing it. Oh yeah, this is suddenly so much better. Because without this, you see, without this, without this, these two are bound to dislodge. But with this, don't. I wonder if there's a um, there's a smaller part that we can uh, use for this. Maybe. Maybe there it is. Yeah. But also, yeah, we need we do need to fix this. This is moving. When you when you uh, pick the car up by the roof and everybody will, this happens. So we do need to fix this somehow. Um, yeah. Anyway, I mean, I, I will dedicate tomorrow afternoon um, to this in CAD, I guess. Otherwise, we are not gonna um, advance here. Yeah, I know. Testarossa is an iconic car. I respect it. But it's if I had to choose between the Testarossa and the Countach, and I've seen both side by side in real life, I would always prefer the Kuntash. Yeah, I mean, uh, I was thinking about uh, how we would model the Testarossa sidelines, and it's um, it's, an, it's a nightmare to think about the all of the ducting and uh, the slopes. So it's it's equally bad, yeah. When you go into detail, even a car like the Sierra or the E30 become tricky, you know, at, at our level. Keep in mind that we are, you know, we are pretty advanced. Um, No. Yeah. So much more to do. No. So much more to do. Yeah, if you build a Lada, you don't have to worry about a bit. The 
what? The Joff from Top Gear. I have no idea what you're talking about. I know Top Gear, but I don't remember a car like this. Um, I know Cl I know Clarkson did a lot of bot jobs and stuff like that, but oh my god, yeah, no, 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 we're not doing that ever. <laughs> yeah, we are retards. Yeah, we are going full retard on our builds. Um. Yeah, this is this is not legal. This is not legal, so we gonna have to rethink this anyway. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But no. 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 We we we're, we're absolutely not doing that. Uh, as our next car, maybe, I was thinking, we could do either a DeLorean or uh, a Volvo 240 wagon. You know? Or an E30. That we could also do. Um, so, the, these three are um, in in my mind. So DeLorean, E30 or uh, Volvo 240 wagon. You know. Because I think if we did the DeLorean, a DeLorean would be a very, very nice uh, build for, for us. Because it's the shape is perfect for Lego. And Volvos as well. No. Volvos are extremely nice for Lego as well. With the E30 we have problems with the front. I see a lot of problems with the front. Um, that's what kept me from finishing what I did. Um, but let's see. Let's see. Uh, front and fenders of course. Yeah. Um, if we do the DeLorean, we should, would be, isn't the DeLorean much simpler? But yeah, I mean, I see your point, your point yeah. So, Volvo or E30, basically. Um, my real life E30, um, I am starting this year on uh, rebuilding it. Um, I will post pictures in, in, the, um, in the Discord when it starts. Uh, I have to do, do a few things before that uh, to clear out, out my workshop. Um, and yeah. Uh, yeah, we had no estate yet and that's... You know, that's why I would like to do a Volvo. Volvo 240 would be technically relatively simple and mechanically as well. And bodywork would be simple as well. So we could go through it relatively simple. And it has a McPherson front suspension. It has a real a, a live axle in the rear. Uh, and we could... Um, you know, yeah, like an A4. You know what the problem with the A4 is? Same as always. CV joints. I would love to make a all-wheel drive or front-wheel drive car. But there's the problem with the CV joints. If we had CV joints that would allow an, a normal, reasonable angle of, uh, of uh, wheel rotation, that would be fine. But it doesn't. I mean, they do, but at maximum r rotation, you cannot transmit any power because it binds up, so it's useless. Um, as a model, 
for, for model cars that aren't uh, driving themselves, Lego U joints are fine, I guess, but for cars that are actually powered, they are not. And our cars are gonna be powered, you know. We're, we're gonna, from from this moment on, we're gonna make uh, all uh, cars remote controlled, so. Yeah, but I will, but problem with the custom hubs is again, um, they're not stock parts. That, that, that saddens me. So not everybody will be able to build it. Um, I, I'm gonna think about the, the hubs, yeah. I mean, there's so, so much that, that, that can, that must be thought of. Depending on wheels and whatnot, because both in E30 and the Volvo, we're gonna use the the, the same uh, the same uh, uh, wheels, so rims as here, um, and they're both McPherson. If we do the Audi, it's gonna be a multi-link um, multi-link um, front wheel drive or all wheel drive. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, um, let's uh, wrap this up. I'm going to dedicate uh, tomorrow's afternoon to this part of the car in CAD, and let's see if if I can come up with them with something. I'm not sure if I'm. I I'm not very proficient in in stud IO, but I'm gonna give it a try. There's no other choice. To be honest. See. I'm changing. Uh, we we we're using we we are using no streamers on Wednesday. Um, we're using uh, electric motors because um, with pneumatic motors, the problem is that uh, you need uh, a container for the air, and that's very problematic. Here, you pop in the battery pack, and you instantly have remote control and everything. Um, and I value the fun of driving the car more than the, the stuff that because we have the, the um, fact uh, that we have an, a pneumatic motor. You know, pneumatic motors are awesome. I, I love them. You know, my love for them is, has, has not uh, diminished. But still, in terms of playability, Ease of use and everything. Uh, electric motors are just you know. There's there's no alternative. Um, and you know when doing this to be remote controlled, I want them to be fun. And if you want stuff to be fun, it's electric motors. You know. Um, I don't have the resources um, to you know really uh, do the projects that I would like. That's the sad part, you know. If I had the resources of, uh, let's say, um, well, I'm I'm not going going to develop any pneumatic engines at the moment. We are doing this only. So if I had the resources um, of uh, viewers, or if they want, would want to, you know, sponsor me or whatever, oh, we could do some nasty stuff. Um, speed record breaking stuff and uh, very very fun cars but that's not the case I don't have access to their buggy motors or their battery packs or anything and I certainly don't have the money to 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 buy these things because they cost quite a lot um, so you know we're doing this and hopefully 
hopefully if we do a good job with this uh, we can earn enough money to to maybe buy uh, better motors I don't know if Kara doesn't pick it up and sell sell it as their own model you know uh, instruction sales are gonna be modest you know well there's always patreon you know you can you can sponsor me directly on patreon and you know um, usually uh, all of this money would go towards buying parts or motors you know if I had like I don't know what Bubis unit costs like 146 euros we would I would need probably two of them and then uh, well one for start for, for start but realistically two uh, and like four uh, four of their motors then we could you know then we could do some interesting projects you know then we could say okay this time we're not building anything in from reality we're building our own record-breaking supercar that's gonna be I have many ideas how to do it it's gonna be it's it would be four-wheel drive uh, four-wheel drive uh, four wheels not three wheels for stability it would be it would have the large motorcycle wheels from the BMW you know and and stuff like that but that's um, that's that's not to be at the moment um, so yeah uh, anyway uh, that's it for today uh, and I see you on Wednesday uh, hopefully with a solution for this I really hope that I'm I'm gonna be able to find something with the parts catalog that uh, is available in stud.io um, now yeah. and maybe I, I will find I will uh, discover some better parts placements than here probably Well, I would do the speed, the speed car, more in terms of uh, a Formula One. It would be very much uh, designed uh, in in the in the way Formula One cars are designed. So uh, suspension, um, chassis, everything. Uh, they did. They ended. Yeah. Uh, they will start in the m middle of May, I think, again. So there's like a month break in between and then it's again. Um, yeah. And I need a micro motor for this. And we still need to uh, figure out how to do the, rem the shifting remotely. We'll see. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. That's it for today. And uh, thanks for watching. And I see you on Wednesday.